In today's video, we're going to be giving you maintenance tips. Things you can do to prolong the life of your unit, shorten your energy costs, and keep your system working at peak performance. Firstly, we'll start with filters. Filters basically just stop any debris, dust, allergens, and what have you, larger insulation fibers, depending on your situation, from entering the air conditioning system and basically cycling through the home. The one inch filter normally is found beneath the evaporator coil at the bottom of your air handler where the air enters the system. They can also be found in a return grill in the wall or return grill in the ceiling. Rule of thumb when buying a one inch filter or any filter for that matter, hold it up to the light. If you see through this filter, you know your filter really isn't catching anything. Dust being finer than the eye can see is going to go right through there. So anytime you're buying a filter, you might always think, give it a little test and make sure it's actually going to be stopping debris from going through. Nextly, we have a 4-inch filter. The 4-inch filters are normally come into a cabinet housing like we have here. The housings normally are installed on installation. They do tend to cost a bit more, but over the long run, you're going to save money because they're going to save you in visits, um, service calls, problems with debris getting stuck in, and allergens again. Things just intruding into the home that you really don't want. Nextly, we'll move on to Changing your thermostat batteries. Most of your digital thermostats do come with a battery installed. Your installer will put them in, but you, as you see, they're just a basic AA battery. Some do use AAA depending on the style. The AA batteries pop out nice and easily, and then once changed, replaced. Anytime that you are working on your thermostat, any electrical component, first thing you'd like to do, go to your breaker box, turn off your heat breaker. The heat breaker is what activates the electricity to your indoor air handler. Nextly, we'll move on to your drain line. Keeping your drain line clean is imperative. If that drain line backs up, what you'll tend to find is mold growth, microbial growth as well, just beginning to grow algaes, a number of contaminants that can begin the infestation of your air conditioner that will end in a result of quite a bit of money being spent in most cases. What you'll do, most units do come with a T or some type of opening where you can pop a cork off or just access the line itself. And at that time, we'll access the line. You take this off. What you do is you use bleach and vinegar mixture, or excuse me, bleach and water mixture, and you just pour it right into your access port. Usually, a quarter cup of bleach, three quarter cups of water will keep that line good and clean through the duration of your six month period. I would say every three months do it between your technician coming out every six, unless you do yearly visits, in which case you would want to do it about two to three times a year, either bi-monthly or quarterly. Once you've installed the cork back on, your system's ready to go. Now also, anytime you have a float switch installed or there was an electrical wiring coming from the T, you always want to turn that breaker off first. If there is no wire running, you're free to leave the breaker on. Next part we'll show you is cleaning the condenser coil and basic maintenance to the outdoor unit. In this part of the maintenance tips video, we're going to show you how basic cleaning of your coil with just a garden hose can keep it running at its best possible performance. What you're doing basically is keeping it clean like you would the radiator in your car. When debris gets stuck over this radiator here, which is called your condensing coil, it tends to make the system run harder, which will shorten the life of the unit, raise your energy costs, just cause you a lot more trouble than you really want to have. First, what we'll do is just take a basic garden hose, go across your fins, like so. Washing any debris from it and keeping it in a clean and its best possible performance. All you want to do is go against the fins, up and down, not across, that way you don't do any harm to them. And actually what we'll do is take, just add a basic wax to the unit. Before you get anywhere near the electrical side of it, you always are going to want to pull your disconnect. This disconnect will stop any voltage from running, so there's no possibility of any exposed wiring, anything to that effect getting grounded out by touching you or shocking you. What we'll do is we'll add our rust inhibitor and wax to the unit. Once applied, just rub down with a rag as you normally would anything else. And 
And once you're done, just add your disconnect back in and you are good to go. And that'll complete the maintenance part of this video. Thank you.